Hello and welcome back to Let's Play One Mark of Chaos with me, Grey Hunter. And we're about to attack the Fortress of Decay, but first we will require some reinforcements, I think. So, actually, let's see how many men we're allowed to take first, then we'll decide what we need. I'm thinking that we definitely need to invest in a second great cannon. Because those things are brilliant at destroying walls. So, how many would we need? Uh, we can take two of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we can take three heroes and six units. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One of these two. Or maybe the knights. Yeah, we'll take the knights. They could be good. They could be very handy. We'll take the knights. But we need another cannon. So, make camp. And we will buy a cannon. 2,000 gold. There's one more available, but we can't take three of them. So, we'll just take two for now. And we could get more of some of these guys, but it's not really worth it, I don't think. Oh, well, actually, how much do they cost? Hmm. Halberdiers are very good. It costs 840 gold to grab a unit of them. We don't have to use them. We can just keep them for a rainy day. Hmm. Actually, no, we've got enough infantry because we'll have the great swords trained up, I think. So we might grab... Mm, I think we'll grab nothing for now. And we don't need any of that stuff, but what we do need is some armor for the great swords and some weapons. 600... 1200... it's a bit steep. But it is useful, so we'll front for it. Ooh. A gunpowder keg. It's only 100 gold. You know, flagellants, you've got a new job. I'm so sorry. You're all going to die. Mm. Yeah, because we need infantry. So we'll get them a ladder. We'll get these guys a ladder as well. These people already have one, don't they? So powder cakes for them. Oh, you can have one or the other. Wait. Is it? Is it one or the other? It's, yeah. It's one or the other. Okay, well. They can have the gunpowder keg. And we'll do what uh, they did in the Lord of the Rings with the uh, Urukai in the Two Towers. Where they just ran at the wall with gunpowder and stuff and hoped it exploded. Okay, so you've got a ladder, you've got a ladder, you've got a ladder. Wait, hang on. No, we weren't taking the flagellants, were we? We were taking one, two, three, four, five, six... Balls. We're going to need these guys because I can guarantee that those wall cannons will need to be distracted somehow. Hmm. Actually, no, we, we should have enough infantry as is. It, it should do. It should do alright. Might be a waste of 100 gold on that powder keg for the flagellants, but I think there's another siege. Maybe. I can't remember exactly. So you get to come, Brother Gunther, because you have that funky ability to restore people to your unit. And you get to come, you, 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 and the knights. The knights with Stefan on a horse could be useful, but it's not really worth it at this point. So we'll just leave him without. And we need you. And you. Alrighty, so I'll pause the video here and I will see you guys on the battle map. Okay, so we put Gunther with the halberdiers and, and Stefan with the swordsman. Fight for the Empire! Because they're going to be our frontline troops. We shall rout the scum from but they the don't want to play nice with the formations. There shall be no we shall hold until That's okay though. Final breath, your loyal servants. Jade Wizard Ready gets to go with a handgunner unit. Flows within all living things. And the cannons, well, 
There are artillery, so we will place them last. I think. No, them first. I'm recording this post commentary because uh, Fraps and this game just did not want to play nice on this level, so had to record as quickly as I could, and I wanted to be able to do that without worrying about uh, commentary. And so the deployment space there has a little bit of an indent, which makes it difficult to get the uh, units that we want in the right spot. The enemy shall not turn me back. And Gunther keeps saying things. I shall lead the army forth. Blood will be spilled. There is no greater honor than to die for the Cool. So the great swords are our reserves, pretty much. Gruber's army has been slaughtered. It looks as if they fell storming the fortress. They must have that traitorous bastard. You can trust us to fight to the impregnable, my lord. We shall make this place impregnable, Excellent. my lord. So what we're doing is we're grabbing the siege tower we shall never because take a it step back. can move by itself. And if we send it up to the wall, it can essentially act as a scouting force. I'm pretty sure that it drew out some of the forces as well. They were guarding the gate. And their hell cannons returning fire. All loaded. And our cannons don't seem to want to fire on the uh, hell cannon emplacement. They have their moments of just not doing Mines anything. But they're doing okay this time. I did have to try and record this about four times because the game kept crashing about three, four minutes in. So I might be remembering things from a different recording. So we've drawn out some Furies, some Plague Bearers, and some Knights. And they're all attacking the Siege Tower, which is fine, because it means that they're all standing over there attacking that instead of running towards me, which really is not a good thing. Blast them apart! So the tower doesn't quite make it, but that's okay. We lose sight of the tower though, which is very irritating. But, the enemy is marching upon us. So this is where I actually forget that I've got both cannons selected, so I keep trying to order one of them to shoot at the other one, uh, the other unit, but I keep double selecting. Still haven't figured it out. There we go. Ready for firing. We await your orders. Now, as flying units, infantry can't hurt the Furies. You have to use your handgunners for that. But they're doing okay. Pray to Sigma. So we counter charge to save the cannons. Actually works out pretty well, especially when we father of thorns those guys. But it put us within range. Luckily, although I haven't actually gone over to the right yet, there is an altar over there which will res respawn our men. So it's not too bad. Could be worse. The wind of Gairan falls heavily in your Finally, remember my heroes have abilities. And we dispatch the last of the knights. Yes, my lord. Glory to the Empire! Look to Sigma for strength. Cannon ready, Our my courage lord. will never be as an immovable firing. So we're moving the cannons up because there's a force of enemies nearby the altar that we have to destroy. As the objective in this mission is actually to destroy all of the noble forces. Well, Gruber's forces. 
quality from Nulm. There is steel in our arms and fire. You have to take the control points as well, but merely taking the control points doesn't actually win you the mission. You have to eliminate everybody, and when I say everybody, I mean everyone, including the fleeing units, if there are any. So what we're doing here is we're rearranging, because we know those guys are coming. It's at this point that I wish I had a Hellblaster volley gun, but you can only take two artillery pieces for this, and you need both of the great cannons to have any chance of actually killing the towers quick enough. Otherwise you'll simply run out of time. Sigma wills it. The enemy will pay in Yes, blood. yes, quite. Pray to Sigma. Kill them, slaughter them, you know. That. Pay attention to orders. We stand ready so again the hell cannon is firing at us because we still haven't eliminated it. Behind every great man is another man with a prime and It's probably one of my favorite quotes. Behind every man is a ma another man with a big sword. Sums up the war theory of the Empire pretty much to a T. The orcs as well to some extent. And some more men sent flying. I decided to retreat the great swords because I want to save them. They're very expensive and they're very good. The knights managed to take out the spawn, which is good because now they can go bait that tower. We cannot fail. Cannon ready, my lord. Yes, yes, fire. Death to the O. Look to Sigma for strength. So the lapdog of the Emperor has come to pay a visit. Be gone with your yap. Oh, shut up, Gruber, you traitor. Grandfather, your faithful servant needs your postulant. Yeah, that's right, you do need the aid of Nurgle, don't you, bitch? Because my army will come and kill you. Kill you! On my lead. Our courage will never fall. So enemy hero has died. I believe that that was me killing Gruber. Keep your powder dry. I think. I'm pretty sure Gruber was hanging out in that tower, and I'm pretty sure that he just got decapitated by a cannonball. Moving battery. So now I'm moving the artillery up because if I don't, we won't be within range of the other tower, and we need to take that other tower out. Commencing bombardment. So I start moving the cannons up, and I send forth the battering ram as well, because the hell cannon will prioritize siege equipment. Mobile siege equipment, I should say, rather, over the stationary artillery, which means we can save them. And the altar is already at it at work, replacing all the men. Moving out. Matches lit and, burning. and again, it's very helpful because the more men we can replace there, the less money we have to spend once we use the army again. The thorn and briar answer. So I start moving the handgunners up because they're able to start shooting at the guy standing behind the barricade. The knights are mainly just there to make sure that we don't lose sight. Yes, yes, quite. Death and glory. So we're down to six and a half minutes, but once we capture that rally point over there, the uh, capture area, we should get more time, I believe. If not, I'm very surprised about how I won this, because I shouldn't have. And there goes that other cannon. Excellent. Now they have no artillery to fire on us. So I start using the cannons to break down the walls. Brother Gunther's still chilling there with five halberdiers. 
hoping that he'll get more. We are yours to command. There is no path unknown to me. Now use the knights to run down that last Bravo. marauder axe throw. Because damn it, no quarter. For Magnus and the Empire. Cannon ready, my lord. The Thorn and Briar answer to my Do they really? Somehow I doubt that. Because, you know, they don't have larynxes or voice boxes. Zap them. Yeah, how do you like them apples, bitches? When you kill somebody who's standing on a wall, they go flying off of it. And yes, it is as brilliant as it sounds. The sky itself is my ally. We await your orders. So finish capturing that area in a moment. Yes, my lord. And suddenly we've got seven and a half minutes. Which is most excellent. And we freeze those guys in place before killing them. And there goes the wall and the gate. Quality from Nome. Commencing bombardment. Matters lit and burning. The Jade College is simply to aid you. So there's not really much happening at the moment. They're just moving the battering ram into position. And the cannons are firing, but I decide to move the handgunners over to the side there so they can shoot the last unit of Marauder Axe throwers. And the infantry progresses up to the capture point. The winds of Gyran can heal the bloodiest Sigma! It seems that Sigma has been adequately praised because we seem to be killing them all very quickly. Clearly, Sigma is on our side. Ready and prepared. Like God. <laughs> Commencing and burning. So, the plan here is Get to move the cannons up and then fire at the units inside of the city. Well, the castle, I suppose. Because we've only got five and a half minutes left, and we need to capture both points, as well as kill everybody. Hence why I'm trying to make Jack... Um, hence why I'm trying to make the forces inside come out. Because if we can make them come out of their walls, we won't have to fight inside of them, where they can surround us and swarm us. My power flows within all living things. So handgunners are still firing enfilade fire. The river shall run its course. Unfortunately, we've lost over half of each unit. Matches lit and burning. So they've got far fewer men to actually shoot the guns with. But our cannons are making it. Let Sigma guide us. We set up a flanking force. We shall not take our a step back. Will never we fall. shall be as an immovable Blood rock. will be spilled. Moving out, my lord. Keep your powder dry. And here comes a unit of plague bearers, I believe. Are you brave enough to face me alone? I am, but I will not. That's Captain Steiner. I think it's Steiner. The guy who doesn't like you in the opening cinematics. Him. You can fight him if you want, but I choose to just shoot him. Take a new position. I will not give him the satisfaction of the duel. Take a new position. Ready, lads? So a lot of fiddling around to get the cannons to actually shoot past the wall. On my command. One of them's doing it. And that one is enough to convince them to come check what's happening. For Magnus and the Empire. Come on, you bastards. Matches lit and burning. Exactly. No pain, no gain. 
Victory or death! With bitter bloodshed, what is your we will love of Sigma will be swift without question. Cannon resting moving. Many, many, many heroes there. Sigma wills it. But we took out the most dangerous infantry unit. Well, almost have anyway. There it goes. There shall be no retreat. We stand ready to fight. So now we progress inside to bait them towards us. But they've got two spawn. That is a bit worrying. The wind shall be my guide. Only victory. Are you brave enough to face me alone? So we charge in. Slaughter absolutely everyone and everything. The Lord. And the handgunners move up to make sure that we've got all the armor piercing ammunition firing at the enemy. I am, but I still won't. Stop trying to question my manhood. Give the word, my lord. The Magnus of the Empire! So there we go. We're not doing too badly. But we only have two minutes. We need to kill everything and secure that last objective. The knights are doing alright, but they're not quick enough. My wrath shall be as a storm! No greater honor than to die for the empire! We shall rule the battle in your command. There we go. For death! For victory! So now it's really just that spawn that's left fighting. Yes, my lord! Advance on the enemy! Because the other unit is broken. And... Oh, and the final unit is down to... Two men, I believe that was. And even then, it still ran. Kill them! Charge! Move on. Victory or death! Death to the foe! We await your command. Bravo! So we've got 45 seconds to secure the plaza. Well, the circle. And kill that last straggler there. Kill him. We shall hold until our final breath. to kill. I'm pretty sure we just got him. Yes, we did. Can I send the wizard to collect items as quickly as possible? I can only get a few of them though. The Jade College will help. Your loyal servants. Ready and willing. I offer my skills to you. Nice. There will be no respite while And we're victorious before I can grab the banner. But that's okay. So we did pretty well, all things considered. And I believe I shut up now and let you enjoy the cutscene. Mark, the Essentially another cool attack. sword. My grandfather once wielded this blade before you betrayed him. Before you betrayed you bastard. the Empire. It is mine. It was stolen from my family. Now I have reclaimed it. It will be put to its yeah. true purpose again. Against the yeah. enemies of the Empire. It was not meant to end. I would become immortal at the right hand and of the Lord. Obviously that did not happen. When the armies come south, who will pave the way for them if not I? I bargained my soul for Grandfather Turkus. You silly bastard. But now I have failed him. The rot consumes me. I... Ah. Oh dear. Burn it. Send the ashes to Emperor Magnus as a Best gift. birthday present ever. It is the blood right of my family to wield this blade. The rune fang is the mark of a count, 
and I reclaim it for the Von Kessel family. Any man who wishes to dispute this, raise his voice now. Anyone? Captain! Captain! News from Nordlin! A great army of the Dark Gods has been sighted and is heading south! They are led by a nightmare given form by a Damn. great prince of evil! A demon prince? Here oh yes. In the Empire? Tiger Call in Africa. Down and tell me everything. The army marches eastward as we speak. There's no sign of the elves. No word for Prince Kalanos. Talibayim oh is undefended. Send out scouts to find the Reich's Marshal and the army under Lady Aurelian. Tell them what you have told me in return with any further news. I fear Kalanos. Yay! I mean, all. Oh. They fought alone when we should have been beside them. We must gather what strength we can and hold Talibayim against this threat. Men of the Empire, the war is not yet won. We've For only in death can we still serve. Wait. Wrong Warhammer. Or is it? Dun dun dun. 